Hawks post-game report joined now by Carson Newman, head women's basketball coach Mike Mincy. Coach, back-to-back -back and ones to close this one out against Lenore Ryan. Uh, your offense was good down this stretch. You make four of your final five shots, uh, but those two and ones from Lindsey Taylor, Blaylon Weichel, they stepped up uh, even when they weren't having their best nights. What did you see from your team, uh, especially down this stretch to prevail when the offense wasn't smooth, it wasn't pretty throughout the day, but when it mattered most, they stepped up and delivered. You know, it's weird how um, tournament games and th things like this happen. You know, we knew it was going to be a tough road to try to come over here and and beat an Anderson and beat, you know, an LR and, and try to make it to the championship game in three days. But at halftime, we're down one point. And we didn't look – I didn't like the looks on our face. You know, like yesterday, we were happy to be up one. Today, we we just looked like we were almost beat at half being down one. And I told them, like, Lindsey and Braylon, I think, were two of nine from the field combined. And I'm like, dude, we're only down one. And our two leading scorers have only made two buckets – so it's almost prophetic that at the end it was Lindsey Taylor and Braylon Weichel that finished this thing out with, with and ones and certainly Lindsey's big free throws because I think Lindsey had made two free throws before that, I yep. believe. Stepping up there, we shot the free throws great. Um, but that was just a clutch player from an All-American player. And honestly, Lindsey should probably be an All-American too, but uh, um, I'm just proud of him. He was a great stop down here. We had conversation about going zone when we got that stop. Because they were getting ISOs with Crooks yep. way too much. They, that was bad on my part. I didn't make a change. But um, we went man because they wanted to. They got to stop, and we finished with the and one from Braylon. Uh, plus 15 on the glass, 14 offensive rebounds. I think you finished with 15, 14 or 15 second chance points, none bigger than Lindsey's put back. I know that's not a great percentage for the number of offensive rebounds to get to only score that many second chance points, yeah. but how critical was it to attack the last to give yourself give yourself extra looks uh, when the offense wasn't as efficient as usual? I mean, we just feel like if, it's hard to rebound out of a zone. We know that already. Yeah. Um, and uh, we're a good offensive rebounding team. So you're not always going to get the looks you want out of the zone, and you're not going to get, you know, you're not certainly not going to make all your first chance opportunities. So you got to get second chance opportunities with offensive rebounds. So I'm Again, you know, we only got, what, 15 second-chance points, but it still just tires out the other team when you've got 14 offensive rebounds, you've got a bunch of crashers. Um, and those 15 second-chance points may have won us the game, honestly, because we struggled mightily against the zone in the first half. But the way it plays out, 60 points, we scored 64 at home, we scored 60 at third place, and we scored 60 today. I mean, it's kind of the norm for us when we play LR, and, and they're good at what they do. So in the South Atlantic Conference quarterfinals, it was Michaela Alvey with a career-high 22. Today it's Campbell Penley, yeah. but the offense uh, struggled. It seemed like she stepped up and hit a big-time yeah. shot, finishes yeah. with 19 uh, on an efficient 7 of 16, 3 of 6 from long range. How important were her baskets uh, when the offense was in lulls? She stepped up and delivered. Well, I mean, she played. I thought she played well in the first half. I don't know what the stats were for her in the first half. You know, I know that she had hit some key buckets. Couldn't take her off the floor. I was a little bit concerned about her in the second half. You know, we typically like to rotate players, but it's tournament time, and we had to keep the players that we felt comfortable with on the floor against the zone. She had per certainly had a good day, but she looked completely exhausted in the fourth quarter. We subbed her out there for a moment and then had to get her back in the game. So, you know, She's got that ability. She did it as a freshman in the, I think it was the semis against Catawba. It goes for 17. Uh, she played well yesterday, I thought. Certainly plays well today. It was big getting the ball in the middle of the zone where you got to get it to and get those shots. Certainly made threes. Um, I'm proud of her. And it's great that even though Lindsey and Braylon are our key guys, it was Michaela yesterday, CP today, that led us in scoring. It's a good balanced offense. All right, have to prepare for a third game in three days. Third matchup with Wingate. You beat them twice in the regular season. It'll be a rematch of the 2018 SAC championship game. Uh, what, how, what will it take to adjust one from playing against a zone defense to against Wingate's defense that limited Catawba's uh, top scorer and Lyric Thorne to just eight points? Uh, get ready for the Bulldogs tomorrow uh, as you go for another SAC championship. Well, first of all, we're happy to be standing on the night and playing at 4 o'clock tomorrow. I mean, uh, and Coach Hancock has done a phenomenal job this year. I think we all know that, losing Troutman and not having Sullivan for a good part of the year. Uh, and for them to find themselves playing super great, good basketball late, get them, I mean, to beat Catawba in this environment and be in the championship game, you know, uh, I like it. That's where Carson Newman wants to be. I think Wingate has been the premier women's basketball program over whatever, 20, 30 years in the sack. And I'm sure they're back to where they want to be. We're certainly back to where we want to be. I uh, feel like we got two of the best programs in, in, the, in the conference. And, uh, you know, we're certainly going to be excited. She does a good job. They have good players. 
We have good players. I think it's going to be a good matchup uh, between two good teams. Good luck against the Bulldogs tomorrow. Thank you, Andrew. That's Kirsten Newman, women's basketball head coach Mike Mincy.